Last weekend, I traveled to Chandler, Arizona for the Marathon Project, an elite-only marathon put on by Ben Rosario and his team of Josh Cox and Matt Helbig. Fast times were run, but most importantly, it showed how an event can safely happen in this new world of COVID. Here is my story. We're Carly and Christian. We've been racing triathlons and ultra marathons for over 10 years now. We're basically always trying to find the next crazy adventure. Subscribe to our channels for new videos every week and comment below with your thoughts on this week's video. All right, here at the Santa Barbara airport, traveling to the Marathon Project in Phoenix, Arizona. This is COVID traveling, got my mask. There's barely anyone here. Let's go. And look, I found a coworker. <laughs> my co-traveler for the weekend. Let's go! Oh, look, it's so festive. I always smile under my mask and I I'm like, oh. I'm the same exact way. And there you go. There is the entire Santa Barbara airport. If you ever curious about where the uh, Poke headquarters is, it's right about there. It is Sunday, the Marathon Project Day. I woke up, looked at the temperature, and it is 33 degrees outside. California has made me extremely weeny, because that's cold, especially when you're standing out there watching a race. So, it's time to put some layers on. So many layers on. I thought Arizona was supposed to be hot. It's not right now. It's winter time. So now that I'm all dressed up and ready to party, let's go outside and meet the crew. So the race started at about 8 a.m. and it was a pretty short walk over from the hotel where all the athletes were staying as well as uh, myself and my team as well. And we got there and right as the sun was rising uh, over the beautiful Arizona desert. So it was really quite a nice morning. 
except for it was a little cold. He's like, why'd we stop? You got me running. I'm gonna keep going now. The purpose of the Marathon Project was to give these elite athletes really a chance to run fast times and also just get racing it. Because remember, this is their job. And almost all of the events this year in 2020 have been canceled due to COVID. So this was an opportunity for really mostly American athletes to really go out there, run some fast times, and prove that uh, they have what it takes really. Because again, it's their job that they're supposed to run fast. Can't run fast when you don't have opportunities. JT service <laughs> with the golf cart. So, we think that's what this is for. <laughs> All access, we get our own personal chauffeur. And that's unacceptable, JT. We need a I demand more prompt service <laughs> and the golf cart that we were not expecting. <laughs> I'm taking this out of your pay. It's perfect. It's perfect. Expect nothing less. So what was really cool about this event is because it was elite only and it was set up to run fast times, they had actual pace groups. So watching the event, you'll see a bunch of different groups, just big groups of runners together. Uh, for the women, they had pace groups at 219, 223, 226, and 229. Whereas for the men, they had pace groups at 209 and 211. So it was really funny to uh, watch the groups go and as the race went on, it actually, uh, there would be a few uh, stragglers that would fall off the pace group, but for the most part the group stayed pretty well together. So it was pretty fun to watch. So if you've ever wondered where all the athlete gear goes when they're racing, here at the Marathon Project, just on the ground, there's no one out here, so it's all safe. Welcome to Rawhide! Put all the losers in there. In the jail? <laughs> We've gone from the marathon project to back in time. Let's go, Kellen! Way to go, Kellen! Let's go, Kellen! You're doing great!
the pacing? Oh, I was good. I, was, I had a bad stomach cramp, so I had to stop at 30K. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I was a little bummed I didn't get to finish, but... That's all right, though. Yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. Any help is good help, right? Yeah, I mean, I had a good year. I just PR'd two weeks ago in the half, so... It's like a 50-second PR, too, so... I was oh, there you go. And then I got here, like, off of that, so... I knew awesome, I, I'm man. only been training for two months. I didn't expect the world, you know? <laughs> No, you did, you did great out there. from the marathon project with a better understanding of how an event can be safely executed with COVID protocols in place. Overall, the marathon project did a great job in this regard. Everyone had to have a negative COVID test before we traveled, which actually caught a few athletes as they tested positive and then weren't allowed to travel to the event. At the event, everyone that I saw adhered to the mask mandate in and around the hotel. And for the most part, everyone really followed the social distancing guidelines as much as they could. Lastly, I just want to thank everyone who helped put this event on and made it safe. It really was a fantastic experience and I did feel safe there. And for me to say that in this day and age is saying something because Carly and I have really taken this uh, COVID uh, very seriously. And so, uh, it, like I said, if I found it safe, then uh, it probably was pretty safe. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs>